Well, some still call it the world's largest cocktail party. Others call it one of football's fiercest rivalries. Either way, Georgia Bulldogs and Florida Gators are set to lock horns again Saturday in Jacksonville. Yes, and it's said that Jacksonville is neutral territory, but some believe it's more like a Florida home game. Well, Storm Team Chief Meteorologist David Chanley has a, a unique perspective on this game. He had a sideline view <laughs> of the Dogs 1980 national title run and knows former Dogs coach Vince Dooley very well. Yes, and he talked to the coach about any Jacksonville advantage that yeah. Florida may have and why he says this that's not going to last uh, well you know you you try to play into it's south georgia in jacksonville mm. but we know that that's not certainly the case and uh, every year the dogs have to travel down to jacksonville while hosting the gators in athens would be nice there is something special about jacksonville and this game that game was was big for the group that I had and we never thought about it going to Florida we just thought Jacksonville was an extension of South Georgia since 1933 the dogs and Gators have battled every year at Jacksonville except for two years in the 90s when the stadium was under construction Vince Dooley made 25 trips to Jacksonville as a coach 15 more as athletic director he remembers in the early days Jacksonville was not really a neutral site it was so unequal at that particular time. Uh, all of the 50 yard line seats Florida had, we had end zone seats. We finally uh, balanced that up. And then uh, you would go to the game and the ticket takers would all have Florida hats on. So we had to balance that up. And then it was always the Florida Georgia game. So we had to, every other year it's the Georgia Florida game. So there was a lot of things that we had to balance and we got compensated finally uh, for, the, for, the, for the fact that we had to take an airplane down there, a charter in order to get down there. While many dog fans welcome the trek south each year, Dooley says he could see one day a shift in that tradition. There's always that question, should we go home and home? And it's a legitimate question and should be addressed whenever the contract is up for renewal because there's a lot to be said about going home and home for sure. But for now, new memories await in Jacksonville, and Dooley says he's excited for these dogs to soak in the bowl game-like environment. You could just hear the roar of the crowd before we even get there. Mm -hmm. So the players coming in on the bus, I mean, and I, I as a coach too, the adrenaline really flows. And it flows down, that's what makes the game so special. It is a special game, no doubt. And join me tonight at 10. I continue my sit down with Coach Dooley on his thoughts of Georgia's current top three ranking and his outlook on whether he feels the dogs will win it all this season. You can catch that tonight on Fox 5 News at 10. He's a, certainly a Georgia treasure. He is unbelievable. And uh, about the contract between Florida and Georgia, right. it's yeah. five more years they have it in Jacksonville. Okay. So we'll see after that if, if it stays there or yeah. if it goes home and home. Yeah. yeah. So as you say, you pointed out, this is tradition, and yep. there are a lot of students who don't mind going down to the beach. No, they, they don't. <laughs> it's uh, it's it's quite the time. No doubt.